Let's go ahead and take a look at another separable differential equation. Now here we have uh, initial value problem. Here's the initial condition. And this equation is separable because I can separate them yeah. and you'll see that in a few seconds. One extra thing we're going to do with this problem is that we're gonna find the explicit solution a little bit later. And I will explain what that means. So let's go ahead and solve. So we're gonna represent y prime in this notation. So we're gonna write that as dy dx is equal to two x over one plus two y. Now I try to separate the variable, meaning I want uh, terms involving y and terms involving x on two different sides. So it looks like I can multiply both sides by this so I can have everything involving y to the left side. And then I can also multiply both sides by dx. So everything involving x will be on the right side of this equation. So here's how it's gonna look like. You'll have one plus two y times dy is equal to two x dx. So that's what we mean by separable here. You have a function of y with dy, and here you have a function of x with dx. Now that we have done that successfully, we can now integrate both sides with its respected variable. So here we integrate respect to y, and here we integrate respect to x. So the integral of one respect to y will simply be y, and integral of two y respect to y will be y squared. Hold on to plus c, we're going to put that at the end, equals, now if I integrate 2x respect to x, I get x squared. And now we can tag along plus c. So this is good. We can now apply the initial condition to solve for c. So I'm going to apply this. So this means that this is your x value and this is your y value, because y of 2 is that. Plug them in, you get your uh, value for c. So y of 0, y of 2 equals to zero implies that we have zero plus zero squared is equal to two squared plus c. So that means c is going to be uh, negative four. So there you have the value for c. Now let's go ahead and write our solution. So here's our solution. This is going to be y. I'm going to rearrange y squared plus y is equal to x squared minus four. So this is an implicit solution. This is called the implicit form of the solution. Now, what if you wanted the explicit form of the solution? Well, explicit means you want to solve for y. So we want y equals some function of x. Now, how do we do that? Well, let's, let's start from here. So you have y squared plus y is equal to x squared minus four. That's the solution we got. Now, in order for me to isolate y here, I will have to complete this square. So if you need help with that, I will leave a li link in the description box for you to check out how do we complete the square from algebra. So pretty much we do the following. So we focus on this number right here, that's one you take half of that number. So we do one divided by two and we square that number. So that gives us one fourth. So that's the number we're gonna add it to both sides of this equation so that we have a perfect square on the left-hand side. So let's rewrite. You have y squared plus y. And now I'm going to add this extra term, which is b over two squared. That's the formula, which is one fourth in this case and equals to everything from before x squared minus four. Now, since I added one fourth to the left, I also need to add one fourth to the right. So that's the procedure for completing the square. And now we factor. So this would factor into y plus one over two times y plus one over two, which is really one y plus one over two squared. And then this is equal to x squared. Here you can combine these, put them in common denominators. You'll have negative 16 plus one over four, which is negative 15 over four. And now we can go ahead and uh, solve for y by taking the square root on both sides. So if you do that, you will get y plus one half is equal to plus and minus the square root of x squared minus 15 over four. And finally, we subtract one half from both sides. We get y is equal to negative one half plus and minus the square root of x squared minus 15 over four. So there you have your explicit solution where y is 
isolated. Now here you would have to make a choice since we have plus or minus in between the terms. So we look at the initial condition. So we see that the initial condition we're given was y of two. So your x value is positive. So therefore we're gonna choose uh, the positive square root of that. So because of that condition, another way to express this solution would be negative one half plus the square root of x squared minus 15 over four. So this is the solution based on the initial condition y of two is equal to zero. Now you could also rewrite the answer in many different ways by putting the terms under the square root using common denominators, combine them, whichever way you like. But this is the uh, explicit form of our solution.